All right, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Bed Wars in 2024. This is going to be an uncut guide of me just playing the game and commentating over how I play. Um, I recently got back into Bed Wars uh, a little bit, uh, nothing, nothing serious at all. But uh, really, my first tip for you guys is to have fun. Uh, the first thing, straight out of the gate, is if you want to play this game... It's important to just have a mindset of wanting to enjoy the game. Uh, put four blocks at the front of your bed like so. Uh, you're going to get rushed quite frequently. Uh, it's important to just counterattack, be aggressive, but also be smart. Don't, uh, don't let players bully you. It's important to not let that happen. Uh, be the bully. Don't get bullied. Like so. Like so. That's how we roll, baby. That's how we roll right there. Um, I always save up for uh, iron armor uh, as a rule of thumb. Just very important to do that as soon as you can. Um, my plan is to play two games in this video. Uh, just to give you guys some tips as I play. Uh, as they kind of come up, but number one, if you want to play this game in the long term, it's important to have the mindset to just have fun, like I said before. Um, emeralds are not as valuable in solo as they are in, in team modes, just because solo games go by much quicker. So I wouldn't prioritize emeralds as much as you think. This guy seems to be prioritizing emeralds. And, yep, he just threw them into the void, like so. Uh, we're going to go after this guy. Um, I find that the players that get emeralds, you should target sooner rather than later. You don't want them getting obsidian. So, we're simply going to rush this guy. There we go. And that's how that guy is taken care of. Um, guys, don't worry about losing your bed um, too much in solo. Uh, if you're going to be a Bed Wars player in solo Bed Wars, that's obviously the game mode that I'm doing. And that's the game mode I'm assuming you guys are playing if you're looking for a guide. Um, I recommend simply not worrying about your bed too much because... It's hard to be aggressive and also be defensive at the same time. Um, and it's important to still play the game aggressively without worrying about your bed too much. Because at the end of the day, these games do not last long. They'll probably last between 6 and 10 minutes on average. And uh, yeah, let's see. This is yellow base. This is aqua base. Um... There we go. Always have some gapples on you if you can. And you're going to die sometimes. It's just how it is. You're going to die sometimes. If I killed that guy, we're in a great spot. But we didn't kill him, you know? So that's okay. But in my case, I would have played that much differently if I didn't have a bed. I would have definitely gotten a little bit more geared before that fight. Uh, I would have taken his resources before uh, he respawned, etc. Um, this guy, I don't know, he probably has fireballs. Yep. Yeah. But that's okay. Fireballs are not that deadly. There we go. We have one heart. But that's okay. You only need... Oh, Aqua just died. There we go. Huge. Uh, I'm going to get a gapple here. We're going to get a gapple. It's going to be great. And we're going to get this dub. We're going to get this victory. It's going to be great. Uh, so my go-to upgrades are reinforced armor and then sharpened swords. Um, those are the most valuable ones for solo. Uh, I also use It's a Trap because it only costs one diamond. And it's very useful. Very, very useful. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. 
That was so funny. I didn't need, I did not even see him. Wow, that's that's wild. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna get this game in the books pretty quickly. It's gonna be about a six minute game. I set off his trap. Holy cow. Almost died. Um, diamonds are important. This guy's being very aggressive, which is good because he's bullying me. And, uh, you know, he's putting pressure on me for sure. Which is good. He should be because he, uh, you know, he doesn't have a bed here soon. He does have a bed for now, but, um, yeah, see, this is interesting because he's going for my bed. And, yeah, he's playing the game right. He's definitely playing the game right. Unreal. All right. This is where we're going to see, because we, we don't have health. We don't have much health now. And he's saying, he's typing in chat. You know, he's trying to use words to manipulate. He's trying to get us to to speak in chat. Uh, most effectively, you're going to be the most successful if you don't speak in chat. We have got to really get on our horse though because this guy is going for us ASAP. Yeah, so we got sharpened swords, so that's good. He tried to do the fireball jump tactic, which is uh, a good strategy on his part. But, um, yeah, we're going to take care of this guy. This game is going to be about eight minutes long. Um, so, it's on the longer side, for sure. Uh, usually, I can wrap up games in about six minutes. And I'm going to buy a bow and arrow, just because I know that this game is going to be over soon. And we can just bow spam. There we go. That's the effectiveness of a bow. He almost fireballed me there. That was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Um, and he's going to try to make friends with me. He's trying a bold strategy here, Cotton. Um, and then I got his bed first. We got the win. And yeah, guys, if you follow this guide every time, all right, hear me out. Every time, if you follow this guide and do exactly what I did every game, and you win every game, you will win every game. Uh, by that logic, good luck in your games. Have fun. Bed Wars is meant to be fun. Um, enjoy it while it lasts. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace. Don't forget to like. Like the video.